Welcome everyone to this new YouTube video. Here we're gonna learn how to remove something's background and put that thing into another background. So the first step you're gonna need to know in Photoshop is open. So what this does is it opens your photos. So where, wherever you put them, you're gonna need to go to that folder and choose them. I chose two pictures because for this you need, you need two pictures or more. But I chose only two as I will describe it the easy way. So firstly I chose this as a background. This is the background and then you need to go to this icon and press open again and choose the other picture. For me is the books. So also I have to mention something. If you're gonna, going to change something's background you gotta change it to something that matches. So you know the books and the desk will be matchable, if we can call it that. So this tool is the move tool. We're going to need this to put this photo. We're going to right click on it and hold it, drag and hold till we go here and we see that plus sign and we're going to release it here. So the first problem we're facing here is that the picture is a bit too big. So we're going to go to edit, transform and scale. What this does is it resizes the pictures to however however big or small we want it. So this size is okay for us now and we press it down here or enter whichever is easier for you. So another tool is this thing, zoom. But we can also go with control plus and control minus just to zoom in or zoom out. And here is the hand tool which you will need also. So what are we going to do now is go to this tool. This is the most important tool I can say for this job to change something's background. So we go here and just select this stuff of books first. And we're going to see if it is a good selection. Okay, so this is a good selection. And then we're going to hold on shift because we want other selections. So we hold shift and while holding shift, we select this other book too. Okay, so this is also a good selection, I think. And then while holding shift again, these, this stack of other books. So the little parts here, we also going to select them also by holding shift. So you need to hold shift like most of the time. Okay, so I think this is a good selection. So here, you're going to release shift and press Q just to see what we're working with. So we see up here, we don't have a good selection. So we go with shift again and select. So now it's good. This part too. And the problem we're facing is this. We press Q, control plus the hand and we move here. What can we do here is we're gonna press B for the brush tool so it is in white as you can see here white and black so the white part removes uh, the red background and the black one does the red background so we need a black one here just to fill this in. Don't worry if it isn't perfect because this is the small details and no, no one's gonna know this about it. So we go with Ctrl and minus. We go with Q again. And all we're gonna need to do is, is here is Ctrl C and Ctrl V. So here, we, I think, what it does is, if you press on it, you're not gonna see the other part anymore. If you press on it, you're not gonna see this other layer. So we need we don't need this anymore because we have done our cut and we're gonna press Ctrl minus again. We go to the move tool as we said before and we place it here. As you see it is also big. So we're gonna go to edit, transform, scale again, just like before, the same thing, and we're gonna resize it to how it fits better. So this is a, a bit too big also. This is too small. This can be it. This can be perfect. Let me just place it here. You're gonna find a placement so it looks real. So just 
by comparing it to this plant or this thing. You're just gonna place it here, maybe just a bit here. So we go down, down, and this is good, I think, guys. So this is how we just change the background of these books. So just a little hack. If you need to make it look a bit more real, you go to background. And we go to image and we have these things auto tone, auto contrast, and auto color. Just choose whichever goes best for your image. So for mine, I think the best one is auto tone tone. And you do the same for the books because it will look better. So we go with this contrast tone the color. Just zoom in a bit just so we see whichever fits the best. It doesn't make a really big difference, but it does make a difference. So this is good. This is all you need to know, I think. Just for like a beginner like you, for this moment, if you can do this, that's good. So I hope you really understood the, the steps to this. And I really hope you enjoyed the video. More videos will, will be made for me, for this kind of content, just for beginners. And I hope I described it in the easiest way possible. Thank you so much for watching till the end and please subscribe. See you next time.